Today, we're diving into the world of data management, showing you how to integrate Google Forms, NumVerify API, and Google Sheets for efficient and seamless data handling. Whether you're a business looking to streamline your information collection process or an individual looking to organize your data better, this tutorial is for you. Stay tuned to learn how to leverage these powerful tools to simplify your data management workflow. Accuracy in customer contact information is crucial for any business. With the advent of no-code platforms like Make.com, you can now automate the verification of phone numbers provided by customers through Google Forms. It will help you ensure the data's reliability without writing a single line of code. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a Google Form so that you can collect user phone numbers online into a Google Sheet, set up a NumVerify account and get a NumVerify API key. We will show you how to link your NumVerify API key to the make.com platform to access the NumVerify API and update the Google Sheet with data verifying your user phone numbers. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully automated system in place. This system will not only capture user phone numbers through a Google form, but also verify their authenticity via NumVerify and record the results in a Google Sheet. The entire process is streamlined and automated Let's begin our journey now. Step 1. Capturing data with Google Forms Our process kicks off with a Google Form, a versatile tool that allows businesses to gather information directly from customers. Once a form is submitted, the data is automatically passed to a connected Google Sheet ready to be processed. You can easily set up a form that collects user information using Google Forms and parses the data collected from the form to a spreadsheet on Google Sheets. Let's show you all the steps on the screen. Set up a form to collect a phone number as a short answer and add other fields you desire to collect. Navigate to the Responses tab and click on Link to Sheets so that the responses can be parsed to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Once you have chosen Link to Sheets, you will have various options. Choose the option that works for you. For this demonstration, we will select the option Create a new spreadsheet. You can rename the Google Form or the Google Sheet at any stage, but they will still be connected to each other. On the Google Sheet created below, when a phone number is submitted on the Google Form, the phone number will appear under column B. If you are new to using Google Forms, note that you can share the link to the form you have created by clicking on the Send button in Google Forms. Select the link icon to get the link address. Anyone who has the access to the link address can fill out your form. Preparing the Google Sheet In our example for demonstrating the capabilities of NumVerify API, we shall rename the Google Sheet to Phone Numbers and expand the descriptions in the first row columns to include the fields given on the next screen. Timestamp What is your phone number? Valid Number Local Format International Format Country Prefix Country Code Country Name Location Carrier Line Type Next, we shall sign up to Make.com to create an automated scenario that will check the NumVerify API and analyze phone numbers that have been parsed to the spreadsheet and automatically populate the details in the adjacent columns. Let's show you how to do it practically. Step 2. Monitoring new entries with Make.com Signup For Make.com to create a scenario, 
Look for the scenario icon in the menu, then click the plus create a new scenario button. In the empty integration screen, click the plus button. Search for Google Sheets. Set the Google Sheet to watch new rows of data. It acts as the initial trigger for our automated workflow. Connect your Google account by clicking Add to add your Google connection. From this point, you should be able to link your spreadsheet and automatically indicate which sheet in the spreadsheet is collecting the phone responses. Example, Sheet 1 or the sheet name might be named after your Google form. Select the options in the image below. Example, table contains headers and indicate the columns that have named headers in row with headers. A limit of one is used for testing purposes, but if you want to bulk update a spreadsheet with multiple phone numbers to be verified, you can set the limit higher. Note that this should also be within your NumVerify API rate limit. Step 3. Making the NumVerify API Call Before proceeding any further with the Make.com platform, you'll need to sign up for a NumVerify account at www.numverify.com. This step is essential before you can add the HTTP module to Make.com in the following part of the process. You will find your NumVerify API key in your NumVerify dashboard. To test the NumVerify API, paste this URL into a new browser tab after adding your API key and a phone number. We added these parameters and you can see the response given on the screen. You will need this URL and the output later. You are now ready to add and use the HTTP and JSON model to make.com. Add the HTTP model to make.com. Next, you will need to click the plus button and search for the HTTP model to add it to your scenario. Click on HTTP and at next screen under Actions, select Make a Request. When you open the HTTP module in the URL selection, paste this URL into it. Make sure that you added the API key. After Number, when you click on the white space, the spreadsheet fields will appear. Click on the field that represents the user phone number on the spreadsheet to add it to the URL tab. In the Methods section, select Get. Upon detecting a new phone number entry, Make.com's HTTP model steps in to a perform a GET request to the NumVerify API. This module sends the phone number for validation and waits for a response. This interaction is secured with your NumVerify API key, which authenticates the request. Step 4. Parsing and Analyzing the Data the data returned from NumVerify is in JSON format, containing details about the phone number's validity, its international format, country code, and more. So, for the next step, you will need to add another model and find the JSON module in the make.com to be able to parse this information to other models. Click the plus button and search for the JSON module to add it to your scenario. After selecting the JSON module, at the next screen, choose Parse JSON. In the Data Structure section, click the Add button. This will open another window. In this window, click the Generate button. Remember Step 3? You opened a new tab in your browser and pasted the URL with your API key, any phone number. Check the results in the new browser tab now and you will need to paste them into the next screen. If you didn't create a new browser tab at step 3 or it got closed, repeat step 3 to generate API data results. Paste the information returned in the browser to the sample data section and click generate. 
Next, you will need to update the JSON string section, referencing it to the data field from the HTTP module. Step 5. Updating the Google Sheet with validation results. The heart of our workflow is the Google Sheet module Update a Row. It automatically updates the Google Sheet with the verification results from NumVerify. Appending information such as whether the number is valid, its standard format, and country specifics. You will need to add a new Google Sheets module. Select the action Update a Row. Populate the next form with the following actions that reference the spreadsheet fields so that it links back to the Google Sheet. Populate the column sections of the form referencing it to the JSON module fields. These are the empty columns of the spreadsheet that you want to parse the JSON fields to. Skip columns such as A and B which will have a timestamp and the phone number. Having successfully filled out the Update a Row Action form, which links back to the necessary spreadsheet and JSON fields, Make.com is now equipped to refresh the spreadsheet with the API results for each phone number whenever a scenario is executed. Your final scenario screen will look like this. Click Run Once to run the scenario. The empty columns on your spreadsheet should update with the validation results. Step 6. Bulk Update of Google Sheet Should your Google Sheet be receiving a high volume of phone numbers and you wish to update several rows simultaneously each time a scenario is run, consider increasing the limit size. Using a service like NumVerify for phone number validation can lead to significant cost savings, particularly when managing customer data in a hosted CRM system. By ensuring that all phone numbers are valid, NumVerify helps in reducing the presence of redundant or incorrect numbers. This not only streamlines the database but also avoids potential revenue loss associated with contacting invalid numbers. So, what are you waiting for? Sign up for free at NumVerify today.